One Piece Odyssey is a game developed by ICLA and published by Bandai Namco that has an original storyline to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the series. The game follows the main character, Monkey D. Luffy, as he looks for the One Piece, a treasure located somewhere in the Grand Line. If he finds it, he will become the King of the Pirates. Despite the series having over 1,050 chapters and a similar number of anime episodes, 15 anime movies and a live action series in the works, the treasure has yet to be discovered. The game, which is a spin-off, is a full-fledged JRPG that aims to bring One Piece to new heights in the gaming world. Although the game may have a rough start, it's not a simple cash grab based on the strength of the One Piece IP. But instead, it is a well-crafted game that offers superb style and storytelling, characters, and twists that will keep players engaged throughout their adventure. The game's art style is visually stunning, and the game's combat system is well-designed with turn-based combat and a variety of skills and abilities for each character. The game also features a Metroidvania-like feel to it with the use of different character abilities to access previously inaccessible areas. Overall, One Piece Odyssey is a game that fans of the series as well as RPG players will enjoy. I found One Piece Odyssey to be an incredibly immersive and enjoyable experience, and as a fan of the manga and anime, I was excited to dive into the game and explore the world of One Piece yet again in a gaming format. The graphics and art style were truly stunning and brought the world of One Piece to life. The character designs were wacky and unique, and the choreography and animations were top notch. The humor and drama of the characters added to the overall experience, making it feel like I was part of the Straw Hat Pirate crew. The gameplay was also well done with turn based combat and a variety of skills and abilities for each character. All in all, I was impressed by the game and felt it was on par with classic JRPGs like Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy. Now if you're a fan of One Piece series and enjoy classic RPGs and looking for a well polished and colorful game, then this is definitely something you're going to want to consider picking up. So the story of One Piece Odyssey has Luffy and his crew, the Shriat Pirates, finding themselves stranded on the remote island of Warford after a crash landing. The island is filled with strange creatures, frozen lightning, and pillars of light. As players navigate the island to find their crew members, they will come across two new characters created specifically for the game by the creator of the series, Ichiro Oda. These characters are Ario, a tattooed man with a mysterious background, and Lim, a young girl who has a dislike for pirates and possesses a power that will challenge the Straw Hat Pirates. As the crew tries to uncover the secrets of the island, they will lose their powers, forcing them to reflect on their past adventures in order to regain them. The journey to regain their powers will be difficult and challenging, but ultimately rewarding. One Piece Odyssey will take players back to some of the crew's previous adventures in places such as Alabasta, Water 7, Marine Ford, and Dressrosa. However, players should expect to encounter surprises and variations as the game's storyline might not align entirely with what happened in the original series. The game's development also has a unique advantage of having the creator, Ichiro Oda, involved in the process contributing to the new characters, setting, and writing. Additionally, the game features the original Japanese voice cast of the anime, ensuring that each character sounds exactly the same as in the anime. Like I've seen a lot of people complain about the lack of the English dub, but when you really look at One Piece games, very rarely do they ever have the English dub. So if you didn't know that going in, well now you know. In One Piece Odyssey, the gameplay is divided into two main sections, overworld exploration and combat encounters. The overworld exploration allows players to control one of the crew members and they explore the game's worlds, switching between characters as needed, each of them having their own unique abilities. For example, as the main protagonist, Luffy has the ability to stretch his limbs and body like rubber, which allows him to reach high places, and also has an ability called Observation Hockey, which allows him to see hidden items within a limited range. Similarly, other characters have their own abilities, such as Roar Zora, the crew's first mate, who has great strength and can cut down iron doors and boxes that block the path. Nami, the navigator, has the ability to sense and find hidden piles of cash, and Usopp, the ship's sniper, can also use a slingshot to shoot down containers that contain useful items. In addition to the characters previously mentioned, Sanji, the cook of the ship, can use his cook's nose to find fresh and rare ingredients for cooking. The crew's doctor, Tony Tony Chopper, can not only heal his allies in battle, but also use his small size to fit through narrow and low passages while exploring the overworld. Nico Robin, the archaeologist of the crew, can use her knowledge to uncover information about the game's world and story. Frankie, the cyborg shipwright, can use gathered items to create bridges to previously inaccessible areas. Given the game, 
like I said above, the Metroidvania-like feel that it has. Brock, the skeleton musician, is not yet known to have a specific role in overall exploration, but will be joining the crew until he gets his body back. Unfortunately, Jinbei, a fan favorite, is not included in the game. As players explore the overworld, they might encounter enemies or creatures that they must fight. Upon touching the enemy, players will be transported to a battle stage where they can use turn-based combat to defeat the enemy. Similar to classic RPGs such as Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest, the game uses a triangle strategy of weapons similar to Fire Emblem games where power beats speed, speed beats technique, and technique beats power. Therefore, it's important to use the right crew member for the right fight and players can switch between characters during battle as needed. In addition to basic attacks, players can also use special skills unique to each crew member such as multi-target attacks, attacks to hit enemies in different zones, and attacks to cause status ailments and choppers healing abilities. These skills use tension points or TP which are similar to mana from other games. Each crew member has a limited amount of TP but it can be restored over time by using normal attacks. As the story progresses, the crew members will grow closer and stronger, eventually being able to use tag team attacks that deal more damage to enemies overall. Another aspect of the game is the campsite, where players can set up camp and use items that they have gathered. At the campsite, players can talk to Usopp, Sanji, and Robin. Usopp is the ability to create trick balls that can lower the stats of enemies. Sanji can cook food using ingredients found, which can be used in battle to buff and heal allies, and more. Now when it comes to performance, One Piece Odyssey runs well on various platforms such as the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, as well as PC and on Steam Deck. On Steam Deck, the game runs at a custom graphical setting with a locked 30 frames per second, but players can lower the graphics settings to improve performance. On PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, the game runs at 60 frames per second at 4K resolution, and on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, the game runs at 900p with a locked 30 frames per second. And on the Xbox Series S, the game can run all the way up to 1440p with a locked 30 frames per second, or 1080p at 60 frames per second. Overall, the game offers a good performance on all platforms and players can adjust the settings to fit their preferences. In wrapping everything up, One Piece Odyssey is a well-crafted adventure that is full of charm and it was made with love and guidance from the series creator Ichiro Oda. The game is perfect for both long-term fans of the series and for those looking for a new RPG experience. The characters are well portrayed, the story is engaging, and the gameplay is well designed. The overworld is filled with vibrant scenery while the combat is fast-paced and balanced. The game is polished to a high level and the developer did a great job in terms of bug fixing. I didn't find any bugs or glitches during my gameplay, so there's that too. Overall, One Piece Odyssey is a game that I can see myself playing for a long time. If you're looking for a new RPG to pick up, this is definitely one you'll want to add to your collection.